it is easy to get mixed up with affect a f f e c t and effect e f f e c t as both have similar spelling and pronunciation even i do get confused at times a simple solution would be affect is usually a verb and means the cause or impact whereas effect is usually a noun and implies the result of the impact or the change of course there are exceptions and this lesson is all about that so watch the video till the end and never get mixed up again hello i'm seema from edufinite learning the difference between affect and effect will clear the dilemma and help you to improve your writing and speaking skills so are you ready without much ado let's begin well affect versus effect where and when to use them so before we delve into it let's first know their meanings their pronunciation and what part of speech do they belong to and then we'll move on to make sentences with them so the meanings well affect is usually a verb so since it's a verb it will describe an action or maybe a condition or some experience now it means to have an influence on someone or something so something happens and that has an influence on someone or something that's affect to cause a change in someone or something you know something happens and you get affected like some changes happen in you because some incident has taken place so that's to cause change in someone or something next sometimes affect is used as a noun and it means display of emotion when affect is used as a noun it means display of emotions for example you know some song or something it affects you you become emotional so that's how it affects you next we come to effect and it is usually used as a noun and it means result of a particular influence so something has happened and because of that the result of that whatever has happened there is some result or outcome so the outcome is the effect next an event or condition that is produced by a cause so you know something has happened some event has taken place maybe an earthquake or something so the effect it has on the people over there so that's the effect now effect as a verb sometimes it's used as a verb so then it means to bring about or make happen so something you know causes something to happen so that's the effect when it's used as a verb now let's look into the sentences to understand these meanings much better so the first sentence the effect of the continuous heavy rainfall in the hilly area was massive landslide and flash floods it hugely affected the lives of the local people so what was the effect that means the result there was continuous heavy rainfall in a hilly area and the result was what landslide and flash floods so that would happen because of the landslide because of the flash flood would happen the lives of the locals 
the local people over there, living over there, was affected. Will Mr. Roy's retirement have any effect on his family? So Mr. Roy is going to retire. Now, naturally, he won't be getting his monthly salary. So will that have any effect on his family? Well, the answer is Mr. Roy assured it will not affect his family at all as he has already taken preventive financial measures. So, he is quite smart. Yes, Mr. Roy is quite smart. He will not let his retirement affect his family because he knows that once he retires, he won't get his salary. But he has taken adequate financial measures and his retirement will not affect his family or it will not have any effect on his family. Well, the next sentence. The doctor had warned that the medicines might affect the patient's digestive system. That means damage the digestive system. And the prescribed drugs actually did have an effect on the patient. So, yes, the result was there. The effect was there on the patient. Now, if you look into the sentence, you see I've said effect on. So, now effect being a noun, it can follow words like any, on, into, take, etc. So here, but effect can't because that's the verb. So it cannot, you cannot say effect on. It's effect on, effect on the family or effect on the patient. So effect is a noun, hence these words follow the noun. Well, the next sentence is, the sudden early snow affected the crops and had a very harsh effect on that season's yield. So what happened? Early snow caused damage to the crops. So that's how it affected the crops. And result was what? That seasoned yield was very low. So that it had a very harsh effect on that season's yield. The next sentence. Heavy carbon footprints are affecting our planet's environment and one of its effects is global warming. So, carbon footprint is causing what? Damage to our planet's environment. So, it's affecting our, since it's a verb naturally ing, so it's affecting our planet's environment. And as a result, what is happening? The effect, the result is global warming. So, the effect is global warming. So, I hope you're having an idea where to use affect when you have the cause, when it, the action is taking place, then it's affect. And when because of that action, some result has occurred or you have received some result, that result is the effect. Next. Now, in this last sentence, I have reversed it. Sometimes it's very rarely effect is used as a noun and effect as a verb. So, in this last sentence, I've used effect as the noun instead of a verb and effect as the verb instead of a noun. So, let's look into it. The soothing music had quite an effect. So, an effect. You see, article an is followed by a noun. So, effect over here is a noun. On the specially able child. So again, on. Over here, since effect is a noun, so again we have on. On the specially able child, it is bound to effect positive changes in him. So to effect over here means to accomplish something. That means positive changes will be seen in him, in that particular child. So soothing music had quite an effect on the specially able child. It is bound to effect a positive change in him. So I think you had some idea about where to use effect and where to use effect, effect, 
is usually used as a verb. That means the cause or the action. And effect is used as the noun. That means the object of the verb. So, that's all for today. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section. I'll be soon back with a new lesson. Till then, take care, stay safe and be happy.